How's it going, YouTube? It's me, again. <laughs> um, hope you liked the first video. I'm coming back with another video. Yes, back to back. Same day. Editing. Same day. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Man, I'm corny. Anyways, so, uh, in the last video, I didn't really talk about who inspired me or who influenced me to do different art styles, that, like the art styles that I do. So, let me knock that out right real, 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 real quick. So, um, who influenced me to do detail artwork? A lot of people. <laughs> Stan Lee, Jim Lee, um, Frank Miller, Rob Liefeld, you know, uh, and Todd McFarlane for sure. So those are the people who, um, inspired me to do detail artwork. Now with realistic artwork, that's a different story. We have only one person, and that's Alex Ross. Um, Alex Ross's style is, uh, in my point of view, very simplistic and easy to do. And I really like that, <laughs> because, you know, not only do you do it real fast, like the artwork, but, you know, you also are able to get a pretty good result. Uh, now with my anime uh, style, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, it is NJB the underscore artist, and I do an anime style. So with my anime style, I took a lot of inspiration, and I am very heavily influenced by Akira Toriyama. Akira Toriyama, I grew up, no, 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 that's a lie. I, um, sorry, I didn't mean gr grew up. I. Miss Universe is she is a uh, like figure like a public figure uh, that represents Salvadorian and Central American uh, men and women all around the world and she is a very nice young lady and I did this piece uh, for her in order to represent uh, my culture and her culture and uh, I was very excited and happy to do this piece and I'm very very uh, you know I'm, I'm very happy with how it uh, turned out, and she was too. She thanked me, actually. She commented on it, and yeah, so um, this is Miss Universe. I did this, um, you know, not, not a commission, but, you know, just something that I really wanted to do and was brought to my attention thanks to my mother for bringing it to my attention. For, and yeah, so here's another piece that I did. Uh, I really like this piece. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Um, I colored it and everything. Some people actually thought I printed it, which was pretty cool. You know, I, I really enjoyed people thinking that, you know, that, whoa, is that, is that even real? You know, like, something like that. And, you know, obviously, I don't want them to think like I caught, like, you know, like I uh, printed it out or whatever. Because, you know, I really want, I really want to give uh, them, like, a 
sense of like, oh, whoa, that's so cool. That doesn't even like look like he did it, you know, type of thing. So I really like to um, blow uh, people's minds up, uh, I guess. Uh, but here, I actually did this on a line piece of paper when I was taking notes during quarantine. And this is Alex Ross's Batman. Um, probably going to go only through one folder today. Probably do, maybe it's a little series that we have of where I go through folders, but yeah. Oh, I, this was actually a, a art assignment, uh, and during quarantine where my art teacher just said, well, take the Mona Lisa image and make it into whatever you want. And I made two of them. Let me see if I can find the other one real quick. No, I cannot. I'll probably, I'll probably, it's probably in a different folder, but. Um, yeah, so I made Mona Lisa into a peaceful, loving woman. And I really liked doing this piece because of the colors. I really wanted vibrant colors. Thanks to, uh, for giving me the idea. My mother and also my grandmother and my grandpa um, for giving me the idea. And I was just, you know, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me do this. And, you know, it turned out much better than I expected it to. So, yeah. Um... Ooh, this is another funny one. I did this during class, during quarantine again. And it first started off with the eye. And actually, here, it's a tiger. And with this part right here, I actually did it with whiteout. I know, kind of weird. But, you know, I really, uh, when I saw the eye, I was just like, you know, I got to do it. I got to do the full thing now. And it turned out super well. I wish I did that on actual drawing paper. So it could have been, so it could have looked, you know, better. And, uh... Worst thing I did. But, uh, yeah. So, here we go. One more. And, oh, two more. <laughs> so, these are the first two uh, uh, drawings that I actually colored and inked. And this was actually the first one. This one was the second one. This one is the first one that I colored the first time. And it turned out really good. And then I started doing that. So, yeah. Alright, so I'll catch you guys later, but go in the comment section, let me know down below if you want to see, um, you know, any more of, like, like a little series, like I have, uh, one, two, three, four, like, five, like five more folders, and if you want to have this as a little seri series of just going through, you know, this uh, stuff like all my folders and looking at all my artwork then just let me know hit a like uh, hit the like button subscribe uh, comment down below and um, turn on the post notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video and yeah alright guys see you later stay healthy stay safe and drink water